<laughs> Guess who it is? Caitlin. <laughs> I got back from Guatemala like 10 days ago, and since then I've been hanging out in Miami and then Pompano Beach with Caitlin and her family. But now it is time to go. We're parting ways. So we'll see each other very <laughs> soon. Anyway, Caitlin and I just said our final goodbyes, and it is now finally time to leave South Florida. I've been here for so long. Like, I guess I've been bouncing around doing different things. I even went to Guatemala, but it is time to start heading back up. I'll be making my way up the Atlantic coast, you know, making some stops at some places I want to see in Florida still. I have a three and a half hour drive ahead of me today, so let's head. In case you're new here, hi, I'm Julia and I've been living in my minivan pretty much full time since mid-October. I just got back from a week-long trip in Guatemala and I'm continuing on with my road trip here in Florida where I've been since the beginning of the year. My goal with all of this is to hit all US states and national parks over the next few years, so be sure to subscribe if you'd like to follow along. Okay, back to the video. Despite driving being a big part of van life, minivan life, whatever, I feel like I don't talk about it a lot at all or really show you my driving days. I just kind of show you a little time lapse or videos and then it's like done. But I just want to say I really, really love driving. I love long driving days. For me, a long driving day is like anything over two hours. But I don't like doing anything more than five, I'd say. But despite liking it a lot, I do have to stop i stop like once an hour i feel like for a lot of people that's like insane but i like taking my stops i drink a lot of water i try to keep hydrated so i gotta go to the bathroom and i get hungry i want to have a snack it's nice to stop and give your mind a little break especially since i'm alone taking my little break and getting back on the road it is time to hit the road again and i just realized i accidentally filmed a 17 minute clip on the gopro whoops anyway let's drive Break number two for a proper lunch and to get some coffee. Even though I only have an hour left of the drive, I just need to get a little pick me up. And also I've kind of driven into like a storm, like it's all dark out kinda and raining a bit. I was planning on having a beach day today, but thankfully I decided against that because it was not beach weather. <laughs> Back on the road. And just like that, it's sunny again, Florida. I have made it to New Smyrna. I'm not gonna do anything tonight, I am beat, but I will get back into the swing of things. It's showing you guys my fan life stuff and sightseeing tomorrow. So see you then. Good morning. Minivan is a bit more organized now, so I'm gonna head over to the bathroom, which they conveniently have here at this boat launch. One thing I've noticed about Florida is that all the big stalls are like a full bathroom. Like they all have a sink in them. Let me show you. See? It's pretty convenient. It feels private, so I can like do my own thing. If someone's waiting for the stalls and I'm like, oh, gotta go. But yeah, I haven't really noticed that too much in other states I've been to so far, so I don't know, I thought it was pretty interesting. Next thing on the agenda for the day is to get one of my tires slash wheels fixed. One of them has been having a problem leaking bad, which is annoying because I just got new tires just a few months ago. But I actually think it's a wheel problem, not a tire problem, because I did get it checked down. They were like, yeah, it's the wheel. So. I'm gonna reconfirm that that's true and possibly get my wheel replaced. Don't ask me what happened to the cover because I have no idea, but apparently it's fixed. So like I said, there was a leak on the wheel by the valve thing. They said all they had to do was just like clean it or replace it, I don't even know, and now it's not leaking anymore. Did not have to get a new wheel and they didn't charge anything for that, so that is awesome. I actually drove a little farther up north. I'm in Daytona right now. Good morning.
morning guys. I'm on my way to get my car checked out. This is van life though, you know? It's my home and a vehicle in one. And if there's a problem with the vehicle part of it, I don't really have issues with the home part. It's the vehicle part. And not too often. Nothing crazy so far. On my merry little way to auto shop. It is not pretty, but it is necessary. It's fine, it'll be fine. <clears throat> Basically, if you don't know about cars, sorry. I've been learning slowly and slowly because of this beast. I have three catalytic converters, and I actually replaced one of them this past summer because it was just bad. I need to pass inspection, whatever. Other two are bad, and in my mind, it wouldn't cause any issues. I don't know, that's what I was told. It's just like, oh no, you're... I don't really understand. <laughs> like, I know what it does, kind of, but not really. But now that has caused an issue with the spark plugs. And some, I don't know. Basically, it's causing issues. It's what's causing this shaking. Not good. But to get to the catalytic converters to replace those, they need to, like, remove all these things and then, you know, replace them and then whatever. It, it's just a very, very long job. It's going to be a full day thing. And they can't get started on it until Monday. It is Wednesday. So I am in Daytona for the next week. That was not my plan. My plan was to continue road tripping through Florida. So yeah, I have to hang out in Daytona until Monday. And then they know my situation. They know like I'm camping in here, traveling. They're saying like it may even take until Tuesday. So if that's the case, I can sleep in my car and they're like a lot. He also said that I could sleep out there on Sunday night, so I'm ready by Monday morning. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'll just be hanging out with them all day next Monday. So yeah, honestly for me, that's the least ideal part, the fact that I just have to hang out here for a full week basically. But on top of that, it's super expensive. I don't even, we're not even getting into that. These are all issues I knew about. Um, it's mainly the catalytic converter, but also I knew I had a valve cover gasket leak, so that's getting fixed because I have to remove that. Finally doing that, it's just come to a point where I can't ignore it any longer. I think I'll just check in with you guys on Monday. It is Monday. I slept here at the auto shop last night. A little sus, but it's just before eight o'clock. Supposedly they're gonna start working on it at eight o'clock, gathering things I feel like I'm gonna need from the day. So I don't have to bother them, they can just work on it and then I can do my thing. I don't really expect them to finish today, so I might have to sleep here again. If they do, that'd be great. They're gonna start working on the car, so I'm walking to this like restaurant thing to go have some breakfast and I'll probably hang out for a few hours. Just got myself some lunch from 7-Eleven. Walking back to the auto shop mechanic. They're saying it might actually be done by end of the day today, so that is pretty exciting. We'll see. It is just about five o'clock, so nine hours later, it's mostly fixed. So apparently what's causing the shaking, I think now, it's still shaking. Oh, I'm gonna go somewhere else to film because they're all hanging out here. I feel all my catalytic converters are good, but they did see an issue. So the car is still kind of shaking a little bit at low speeds. I think these issues with the catalytic converters were causing issues with the spark plugs and also causing issues with one of my engine's cylinders. I have like a six cylinder engine. I don't really know much about cars, but one of them has low compression. They're saying if it gets knocked back into place or something, it'll be fixed and that is more likely than it just continuing to do what it's doing. So fingers crossed that it just fixes itself. That's what they said it should do now that everything else looks good. And if it doesn't, for now things are fixed. Hopefully they continue to get better with time. I'm just glad it's all done. I'm just glad it is all fixed down there because I knew about the like, catalytic converters. I'll check in with you guys 
when it's time to go. Heading into Ocala National Forest today. Um, got a late start to the day actually, it's like four o'clock now. So I was gonna go to Silver Glen Springs, but by the time I get there, it's gonna be, the sun's gonna be setting in like two hours. So I'm just gonna go straight to the campground I was planning on staying at. There's a ladybug on my windshield. Okay, I don't like filming on my phone when I'm driving, but just to show you guys um, like what's going on. So if any of you guys know <laughs> anything about cars, let me know. So obviously you can see these lights are on. It's because the piston in my second cylinder is stuck, according to the guys from the shop. And it can make itself unstuck now that my cats aren't clogging anything up. It's not shaking now, but sometimes my car shakes. I don't know if you can see the shaking. I also shake sometimes when I'm idling. Or breaking. I'll hold on. Is the shaking showing up? I don't know. Or do you at least hear that? This is the biggest hill I've had to climb in like months. <laughs> Throw back to North Carolina and everything. That was a mess. This is like kind of cool. I like this. Oh. Hopefully. Oh. There's a spot open at the campground because it is first come first serve. But I'm hoping since that it's a weekday and it's gonna rain tonight, not many people are gonna want to stay. Oh no. Oh, it's easy. Okay. This is fun. I guess. Oh, I think it's here. Yeah. And then back here. This little like lake thing. Very nice. Look at the minivan over there. Oh, cutie. I guess there are bears in Florida. I don't know. I'm gonna use the bathroom. They have bathrooms here, which is great. Vault toilets. And yeah, go pay for my site. It's also so unbelievably quiet. I love it. Bathroom? came back to pay. It's pretty easy. And online it says it's cash only, but no, if you scan that thing, you can pay with your card. You see that thing? Definitely an Anhinga airing out its feather. I'm enjoying this. And it is so calm and quiet and serene. If you can see but there's like so many bugs i made my recipe i was too scared to film because as you guys know i'm scared of the dark i ah, no. i made chicken noodle soup that's all for me guys i'm gonna have my soup i'm gonna figure out this bug situation and, and thanks for watching this video it didn't go as expected but that's life sometimes that's minivan life so yeah i will see you guys next week